Old Longfellow is the new companion that you can recruit in the Far Harbor DLC for Fallout 4. You meet him in the town of Far Harbor and he helps you find the city of Acadia, which is a major plot center. After he leads you to Acadia, you then have the option to recruit him as a companion. Getting max affinity with Old Longfellow is actually really easy. All you have to do is take him with you to complete all of the quests from Far Harbor. Completing quests from Far Harbor improves affinity, and choosing all dialogue options that talk about violence against the children of Adam or not siding with the children of Adam also increase affinity with Old Longfellow. Make sure that you don't bring him with you when you reach the children of Adam headquarters in the game. You're going to find a lot of Children of Adam faction quests there, and completing most of them can actually cause Old Longfellow to lose affinity with you if he's with you when you complete them. After you retrieve Dima's memories and go back to talk to Dima, in that conversation, Old Longfellow will say, Old Longfellow loved that if you make two different choices in that conversation, allowing you to really quickly boost your affinity with Old Longfellow. If you couldn't guess, the two options that give great affinity to him are the two options that are very violent towards the children of Adam. Unlike other companions, he only has two moments when he'll stop you in the middle of your adventuring together to talk about his feelings. Can I have a word? If it's that important, I guess we can talk. Right then. Look, I know I ain't the easiest man in Far Harbor to get along with. Social graces? Well... That's never been my strong suit. Thing is, most folk in Far Harbor ain't worth a damn anyway. All of them cowering behind their wall, too scared to fight for their home. Can't like someone I can't even respect. And, uh, well, that brings me to you. You lack social graces? What makes you think that? Yeah, yeah. I ain't going soft on you now. Don't be thinking that. All I'm saying is, it's good to meet someone who can take care of themselves for a change. Hell, I ain't been close to a lot of folks in my life. And there's even fewer I'd call a friend, but who knows. We stick together long enough, Captain, and it might just be that you're my next one. Does this mean I have to give you a hug or something? <laughs> Hell no. All right, enough of this blubbering. You lead and I'll follow. Seems to be working out so far. Hey. Yeah, I'd still like to talk, Captain. It's important, at least to me. All right, let's talk. I appreciate it, Captain. At my age, any chance to make a new friend is, well, it ain't something I'd expect to happen much, but I'm glad it did. There's more to it than that, though. Long time ago, when I was a young man, I had a sweetheart. Hannah was her name. And we planned to get married and raise a family and all that. Well, we had a place out in the fog we used to meet so we could be alone. Damn children of Adam jumped us. They took her and left me for dead. Took two months to recover from my injuries. By then, it was too late. They'd warped her mind and turned her into their ways. Was only later I learned she was carrying our child. Of course, the baby didn't stand a chance with all that radiation. Adam's will, she called it. Anyway, she died a few years later. Trappers got her. Or so them lunatics said. I guess that was Adam's will, too. I didn't know. I'm so sorry, Longfellow. Yeah, well... We all got our scars, right? Truth is, what happened to Hannah was her choice, and so be it. But I never got to be a father, and that's what I regret. If I had a son or daughter, well, I'd have someone to pass on all my learning to. But you, you're the first person I've met that's worth teaching what I've got to teach. I ain't good with telling people that I'm grateful. But you've given this old hunter a sense of purpose. And a reason for living. <sighs> That's something I ain't had for a long time. Thanks, Longfellow. It means a lot to me that you think so. Well, 
That was all I had to say. I appreciate you hearing me out. Once you reach max affinity, you get the Hunter's Wisdom perk, which reduces the damage resistance and energy resistance of all animals and sea creatures by a whopping 25%. This is an amazing perk that you really should get. So I encourage you all to grab Old Longfellow as soon as you find him and do all of the Far Harbor quests. I wasn't even done with all of the Far Harbor quests when I just by accident reached max affinity with old longfellow once you do finish your uh, your affinity with old longfellow i suggest you dismiss him and get nick valentine back because nick has some unique dialogue options for many of the quests that you're going to be working on in far harbor um that you don't want to miss especially when dealing with dima so there you go that's a quick overview of how to reach max affinity with old longfellow i hope it was useful please subscribe for more fallout 4 and far harbor content